Hey everybody, this is Don over at Johnny's Used Cars. Voted the best place to buy a car in Okinawa by the military community of Okinawa for the second consecutive year. That's right, we won last year in 2023 and we took it home again for 2024 for the repeat. Stop by, we'll show you why like we have many, many others. Today I'm showing this 2011 Suzuki Wagon R that just came in. It's got 91,000 kilometers on it, which is about 56,000 miles. Before I get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on a lot discounts. So the price you're seeing on the website right now will not be the final price when you come on a lot. Also, if you're arriving to Okinawa soon or you just arrived, please make sure you stop by Johnny Z's Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get yourself a driver's license, there are benefits of doing it that way. So with that, let's have a look around. I'll show the features inside. But first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos, going to answer a lot of your questions. Things like the JCI, the warranty, the financing. I cover all that and more, so please bear with me till the end. You have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. The Suzuki Wagon R is a four-passenger vehicle in the yellow plate category, so the smaller category. Road tax per year is going to be uh, 3,000 yen, which is about $24 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May time frame. So we're going to take care of the 2024 road tax for you. You won't have to worry about this till next April or May. Now you do have two ways to pay for this. First one being US dollars cash outright, which could get you a larger discount. Or take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, I don't. we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down, reduce your overall monthly payments, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more, up to you. Before we go inside, I was like showing you the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit this way for rains. It's not gonna get wet inside. More important feature benefit is, it's gonna give you that cross ventilation, get that extremely hot air out. And always get yourself a good windshield visor. You gotta keep this dash as cool as possible. So in addition to that, you may wanna consider uh, buying a dash cover, or if you wanna keep it simple, just get a larger bath towel or a beach towel, lighter in color, and drape it across the, uh, the dash uh, to keep it cool. So with that, let's jump inside. Like I said, it's just coming in, it could be a little dirty, but it's actually pretty clean. All right, key fob on your person, and it does not have a tag on it. Key fob on your person, it is a push start, so foot on the brake, push this one time, and it goes. Let's sneak this in here. 91,091 on the odometer. Why is that not working? That's a... Uh, Turn that off, sorry Troy. I'll show you a couple of warning lights. That green one up there, that is your temperature gauge. So it's gonna be green when the engine's cool and it's gonna remain on, that's normal. It's gonna go away once, uh, uh, once it warms up, that's normal. And then it's gonna be red if it's overheating, that's not normal, be on the lookout for that. And then these two down here, obviously the one, uh, one on the left is your uh, seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts, they do give tickets on and off base. And then the one down there, the, the circular one, is your emergency brake. This one is a kick type, so when you kick it, disengage, it goes away, kick it again, comes right back on. Other than that, it's very simple, straightforward, straight ahead instrument cluster. That thing pops up on the dash. While you're driving, please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action, especially if it's red, pull over immediately, okay? On the left side, you have your uh, radio. This one does not have a rear camera. You have your shifter, air conditioning controls. Uh, this guy hanging right there, that's your uh, ETC reader. That's your electronic toll collector. This works like easy pass in the States if you're able to get the uh, card for it, uh, for the expressway, okay? Off the left here, you, you have a compartment above, and then a little shelf here, and then the glove box. A little bit of storage on each door panel. That is your passenger space over there. You got your red road flare hanging out. Then this is the space I have on my side. The seat is now all the way back, and now all the way down, I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. Uh, I can drive as is or slide this up an inch or two and still be comfortable driving, okay? Uh, this one does have an armrest that comes down, okay? And then it has also your uh, sunglass compartment. Let's go eye level. That's my eye level right there. Really can't see they pass the windshield wipers like on most vehicles, okay? Now, normally this is the time I show you the auction sheet, showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind. Graded non-accident from the auctions up in mainland. All these other dealers out here can't tell you that on all their cars. We can for each one. But because it just came in, I keep those inside the office until it's been detailed. Once detailed, I'm going to put it up here on the sun visor on the driver's side so you can see that for yourself. We'll help you decipher it if need be. And there are dealers that will try to discredit the auction sheet. Stop by, we'll explain why. 
So I'll show you a couple other things before we go to the back seat. You do have a power outlet right here, okay? On the right side here. You do have a cup holder over here, as well as the other side. And then, uh, this is to control the angle of your headlights. So maybe it's a foggy morning, you want to see the street a little better, that's where you're going to do it. You have a pocket here for a storage, coin slot, your hood release, and then please don't forget down here on the floor you have your gas cover release. And then on the door panel you have your, uh, your mirror, window, and door lock controls all right here. To turn it off, your foot does not have to be on the brake, you're just going to push that one time and it's going to go. Seats are down. Let me put these up. All right. So here's your rear space. Now it does have a bar here. You can push that back. I'm not exactly sure what this is. I'm gonna... All right, not sure what that is. Push that one back. Okay. So with the seat all the way back, all the way down, I'm about uh, four inches away from the back seat to my knees. Uh, nothing as far as storage on the back of the driver's seat, but you have pocket storage on the back of the passenger seat. As always, be careful what you put in there. Uh, you don't want to rip it on each side. And a little bit of storage cup holder on each door panel. Okay? Um, no center armrest or anything like that since this is a four-passenger vehicle. So let's go to the back here. So here you have your rear space. Now, obviously, if you slide this forward, you're going to increase the space back here. And as you saw, you can go ahead and put those down. They do lock into place. But if you have it forward, uh, in the uh, most forward uh, position, that's going to take care of that right there, that space. Okay, so you can put both of these down, uh, slide them forward, slide them forward, then put them down. And that's going to uh, have this whole area uh, flat. So let's go to the front here. We're going to show you the engine compartment. They're going to wrap this video up. There you have it, 660 cc engine, which will be cleaned during the detailing process. And we'll put that cap on. So there you have it, 2011 Suzuki Wagon R. 91,000 kilometers on it, which again, about 56,000 miles. Military price is on 4,900. With an additional military discount, we'll get it down to uh, 4,700. Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on a lot discounts and you will get a lower price on this. For now, the 4,700 will include a two year JCI, the one year bumper to bumper full warranty, the 2024 road tax and a 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top will be your American insurance requirement. Whether you're going liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Touching on these warranties real quick, yes there are two year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread, so don't be fooled by them. Stop by, we'll explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealer, see what they have, check out the condition, mileage and pricing of their vehicles, then stop by Johnny Z's car to show we have what our program's all about and how we're going to assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. It's one of the many reasons why we did win the Stars and Stripes, Best Specific Magazines, Best Place to Buy a Car, and Okinawa Award for the second consecutive year. Again, stop by, we'll show you why. Don't forget two ways to pay for it, US dollars cash outright, or take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months. Either way, we're good to go. Please like and subscribe, and as always, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.